Jake Ludington here at OpenStack Days in Seattle, and I'm here with Gary Butler from Storage Made Easy. And I was wondering if you could tell me what, what exactly is Storage Made Easy? Sure. Um, Storage Made Easy is essentially a fabric that allows for collaboration of data, um, particularly leveraging object storage systems um, within enterprises, carriers, um, small businesses. It's a way to build a private Dropbox type solution. And uh, there, there's a lot of features that go along with it, but the, the core of it is uh, data collaboration, file collaboration for uh, documents, uh, PDFs, videos, um, whatever types of objects you'd like to store. Uh, it is a proprietary solution, but the way that it fits in with a, an OpenStack environment, which is in, in why we're here, um, the backend storage that we can use is a wide variety of storage systems. OpenStack Swift, Ceph, uh, S3 uh, environments. So it brings in pretty much any object storage vendor that's out there and allows you to use one or more of them at the same time to do um, your storage. And then on the front end, allows everybody to access that storage system via the, the Storage Made Easy um, user interface. And that shows up as a folder on any device that you have, whether it's an iOS phone, Android, uh, Windows phone, Blackberry, um, can be a, a Windows desktop, can be a, a Mac desktop virtually anything. So it allows for people like me, not technical, to actually use object storage and, and effectively add capacity to that um, without really knowing what's on the back end and how that works. So how does that fit in with, uh, because I know one of the big things within enterprises in particular is, is governance of, of data. How, how allowing people to access from all these places uh, and possibly from desperate, uh, or yeah. not desperate, disparate, disparate storage sources, uh, how, how, do you, how do you get that governance? So the, the way that Storage Made Easy is really set up is to add that piece to any open source storage system. So what Storage Made Easy can do is give you uh, the capabilities and requirements around HIPAA or legal hold or federal audit um, and the tracking and logging of all of the, the objects that sit within that and, and control through um, the authentication system and, and uh, tracking of how they're, they're trafficked to provide the logs to meet the compliance needs for, for whatever organization you might be within. Um, a good example is we've set up a, a, one of our customers is a very large um, legal firm, and one of the requirements was legal hold. Um, this was a great way for them to use an open source storage system and put uh, legal hold capabilities on that, meaning you could track and, and uh, see where documents had gone by IP, who'd seen them, um, where they were downloaded, uh, you can make it time sensitive, meaning somebody has 15 minutes to download this one document and they can download it once by password protection. Uh, you could do it within your organization based on authentication levels, or you could do it outside of an organization and track even somebody that's outside of your, your enterprise to, to do that download and, and track that information. So you would have a full log of what's happened with those objects um, to make it compliant and, and meet the needs of whatever type of governance model is going to come back and say, I need to check your logs. What about, what about multi-tenancy where maybe you have um, different kinds of customers that, that a organization would have? So the problem that we have with a lot of organizations today is they're, they're large and they have multiple services that they need to, to offer and comply with. Um, multi-tenancy can mean two things. One, it means you, you need to be able to scale to hundreds of thousands of users great within one system, or you've got several back ends that you need to be able to work with. And Storage Made Easy, uh, there's 50 plus different back ends that, that can be used, but they can be used at the same time. Meaning you could use uh, Ceph and Swift as object storage if based on what region was using one or the other. Somebody had built a, a great system on um, using an S3 compliant uh, back end, and then there was an acquisition made, and that company uses a full OpenStack environment with OpenStack Swift. You could actually combine those and use both of those back ends with Storage Made Easy. The user never needs to know what the differences are. Can the user traverse both of those? So like, say they can move a, they, move a file from one to the they other? They could easily go back and forth, very easily traverse between those, or it could be set up at uh, the organization level or team level, um, the requirements for this specific team. The new acquisition, all of their new data goes into the old system and slowly migrate the, the data over, or vice versa. 
the new system could become the way of everybody and the admins could change the back end direction without the front end, the users ever knowing where it's going to go. So yes, they can decide or it can be done at the admin level. So, so in the bringing this back around to OpenStack again. Yeah. So in that context, then really the, uh, the, the end user doesn't probably even know that OpenStack is sitting behind the scenes. They wouldn't need to. They wouldn't need to. And one of the challenges with OpenStack, uh, I, I've been around OpenStack for years, um, is it production ready? What can I do with it? And unless you're building a, a full network from, from the bare metal up, it's very hard to just plug a piece in and make it work. This is something where, and for object storage providers specifically, whether it's Cloudian, Scality, Red Hat, uh, SwiftStack, um, EMC, you name it, um, this is a way to make object storage consumable immediately within a customer environment that's certified on all of those different backends. For OpenStack in particular, as you're building a cloud, this is a great way to leverage that cloud. You can start using it immediately as you're looking for other ways to leverage the, the, the storage. If you want to start migrating back up to it, that's a great way to go. It's not super sticky for a, a first sale, but storage made easy is. And then you can add backup to it later, whether it's a com vault or a Veeam, you can start driving that, that, bit, that uh, data into the object storage as well. This is a great way to move uh, a company into an object storage environment, which is still newish. People are still trying to figure out what object storage is. This is a great way to make it usable immediately with everybody. Very cool. Yeah, it's great stuff. Thanks, Gary. Thank you.